Hello and welcome to Stats Behind the Transfer. In this episode, we look at the movement of a Brazilian forward leaving the Premier League champions in search of more game time and a fresh challenge. Gabriel Jesus, or Gabriel Fernando de Jesus to give him his full name, makes his move in the 2022-23 summer transfer window, switching the Etihad and Manchester City for North London and Arsenal. A fee is rumoured to be in the region of £40 million for the Brazilian, who becomes Arsenal's fourth signing of the window. He's a player with Premier League experience and will be looking for first team football to make the Brazil World Cup squad later in the year. At 25 years of age, Gabriel Jesus already seems like he has been in the Premier League for a number of years. This is indeed the case as he played six successive seasons for Manchester City after signing from Brazilian club Palmeiras in the January transfer window of 2017. His trophy haul is already substantial, winning four Premier League titles with the current champions as well as an FA Cup and three League Cups. Adding to this internationally with his native Brazil, he has a Copa America triumph and Olympic gold medal also to his name. Overall, he made 159 appearances in the Premier League over the course of six seasons in Manchester, scoring a total of 58 goals at an impressive rate of 0.56 goals per 90 minutes played, effectively scoring a goal every 1.8 full Premier League match. His shot on target ratio of 42.5% is good, but it is worth noting for City that a lot of his chances were coming close in the box, with expectancy of him hitting the target more. We'll take a closer look at where his XG figures a little bit later on. In the 2021-22 season just gone of course, Jesus was part of a title winning campaign with City, where he appeared in 28 of their 38 Premier League matches. His shot on target percentage shows decline from his stronger showing in 2019-20. While still an improvement on the season before, his last campaign with City saw that despite his 8 goals, only Riyad Mahrez had a worse shot on target percentage from their most used attacking players. Jack Grealish and Phil Foden were marginally better, with 36% and 38% respectively, with Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva and Raheem Sterling all recording over 40%, with the latter in Sterling perhaps surprisingly hitting 46.3% of his shots on target for his 13 goal Premier League return. His goal score per 90 of 0.36 is in line with Jesus' 2021 season, but it's dramatically down from his 0.62 that he recorded in his 2019-2020 season. When you consider his overall average in the Premier League is 0.52 goals per game, Gabriel Jesus has declined in recent seasons in terms of his goal scoring. In the Manchester City Guardiola era, they have been successful in the individual accolades being shared amongst the squads, with goals spread around the attacking players, who are also expected to contribute both in direct and supporting assisting actions. Here we measure shot creating actions, which is used from available stats that you can find on fbref.com. These are defined as the two offensive actions that directly lead to a shot. These can be passes, dribbles and drawing fouls. They can also consider the shot taker themselves and are provided just to give a more rounded approach to just the final pass assist numbers. In this category, Jesus had a much better season this time around than last, increasing his shot creating actions by 0.64 per 90 minutes, while his goal creating actions increased by a whopping 44% showing his value to the team and contribution to City's end product in the final third. But when looking purely at Premier League assists, Jesus was responsible for seven, which increased on his fourth since 2020-21, but not as high as his eight in 2019-20. XG, as we all know by now, stands for expected goals and is a statistic that has become much more prevalent in analysis with regards to goal scoring performance. The illustration of the graph shows the last five seasons of Gabriel Jesus in the Premier League, with the green rectangular bars displaying his goals scored, and the pink, the additional XG he was expected to score. You can clearly see in four of the last five seasons, Jesus has failed to outperform his XG, with his worst performance coming in his most prolific goal scoring season of 2019-20, where he missed out on another 4.2 goals according to XG. In a Manchester City side that creates so many chances, this can go unnoticed somewhat. But the challenge for Jesus at Arsenal will be to be potent enough when those chances do fall. The question is, will he rise to the challenge of that expectancy with more consistent game time, or will the XG stats ring true again in 2022-2023? The signing of Gabriel Jesus can be seen as a direct replacement for outgoing striker Alexandre Lacazette, who has signed for Olympic Lyon. Now, there was no doubt last season Lacazette was not at the peak of his powers as he was ageing in his career. But what are Arsenal looking to gain from Lacazette's dipping influence? How do they match up against each other, looking at last season's stats? Well, both started a similar number of games for their club, so it gives a good base in terms of a direct comparison. 
Gabriel Jesus doubled the goal tally of Lacazette with 8 against his 4, with 0.38 goals per 90 better than Lacazette, but not near the best of Jesus' career. Now, not shown in the table, it's also worth considering assist contributions, where they were fairly level, with Jesus just pipping Lacazette's total by 1 in a 9 to 8 favour for the Brazilian. Both underperformed their XG, but Lacazette missed out on just under 4 goals compared to Jesus with 2. In that free-flowing City side, Jesus did get to take more shots per 90 and he did have a much better shot on target ratio than the Frenchman. The final stat relates to whoscored.com, who apply their rating algorithm to all players in the Premier League and other con competitions, with Jesus also coming out top with a 7.2 against Lacazette's 6.74. It's worth mentioning both FB Ref and Who Scored are excellent places to check out their websites if you want to delve deeper into the stats. To give further context in where Arsenal are looking to improve and compete against the teams around them, I've included a comparison against three strikers for the teams who finished closest to Arsenal last season around the European places. With Arsenal 5th, Tottenham Hotspur finished 4th with their prolific striker Harry Kane, Manchester United finished 6th with Cristiano Ronaldo up top, while West Ham United positioned 7th, with their journeyman attacker Mikhail Antonio. Goal scoring wise, both Cristiano Ronaldo and Harry Kane were the most prolific, bagging 18 and 17 goals each, which is substantially more than the others on this list. Jesus, however, at 0.38 goals per 90, is not a million miles away from Harry Kane's stat of 0.47, but well behind Ronaldo at 0.66 goals per game last season. Looking at assists per 90, it's the outgoing Arsenal man Lacazette, as well as Jesus, who top this list, with more direct goal contributions per 90 than the others, with Ronaldo bottom on this particular trait. Looking at XG only, Ronaldo outperformed his, with Jesus better than Kane and Lacazette, but not as efficient as Antonio. On the assist side of things, however, the AG stat is registering expected assists, which Jesus performed particularly well at but this was the one stat where Lacazette outperformed himself last season. A key indicator of shots consistency is shots on target, with Jesus sitting third on this list, perhaps not unsurprisingly behind the two top scorers Kane and Ronaldo. Now we are going to revert to a slightly different take as we consider how the Football Manager game views Jesus in the recent 2020 edition. With attributes totalling out of 20, Jesus is rated well in all attacking attributes for an advanced forward particularly on the technical side, with his dribbling and technique both rated at 16. Off the ball, coupled with his work rate, dovetail into the characteristics Guardiola likes from a forward, while his agility and acceleration are his best physical attributes. In the Manchester City squad, he is certainly up against some of the best players in world football, and for that reason, also mirroring real life, he is rated as a squad player with some room for improvement. He possesses the player traits of coming deep to get the ball and cutting inside when playing on the wings. His three-star ability will rise when positioned in the Arsenal squad, and if you are a Football Manager fan, keep an eye out for how he performs in the next iteration of the game. The big question with Gabriel Jesus is where does Mikel Arteta look to fit him in? Out of the 28 games he started in all competitions for Manchester City last season, he made half of these from the right wing position, which is currently where one of arguably Arsenal's best players in Bukayo Saka currently operate. The season before was as a striker, but not in the traditional sense as Pep Guardiola's system was not focused on an out-and-out -out number 9. Now he could potentially operate with Gabriel Martinelli outside on the left and Saka on the right, but Arteta has options to use him in a 2 as well, with Eddie Nketiah or even Martinelli as a potential, potential partner up front. An interesting decision for Arteta, who you would imagine with planning to bring Gabriel Jesus into his squad already has a tactical strategy as to how he wants to implement him in his team. Thank you for watching this episode of Stats Behind the Transfer. Please drop us a like and let us know your thoughts on the transfer in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel and turn on that notification bell not to miss any of our upcoming content. Take care and I hope to catch you next time.